You know what's great? Video games. You know what else is great? Wrestling. You know what's fantastic? Wrestling video games. Maybe we'll talk about that over on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. The Wrestling Mayhem Show, that's right, it's another show. Brought to you by the fine folks at Sorgatron Media. Go and check it out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You'll love it. I probably promise. Welcome to Let's Play, everybody. It's the 50th episode. How the hell did we make it this long? I don't know. We have nothing, better, joining, nothing better to do on Tuesday nights? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. That's, that's, uh, joining us this week, as always, Sorg. Hey, how you doing, Sorg? How you doing? I'm here. I also have nothing better to do on Tuesday nights. <laughs> um, hmm, ready to talk some video games. Yeah. Uh, Chachi, how are you doing this week? What up? Okay, and Good we job. got Riz as well. How you doing, that Riz? A great intro, Chachi. <laughs> Why don't you introduce intro. yourself? I don't want to hear your shit. <laughs> All right. Uh, now that we've gotten the inter- introductions out of the way, it's time to le- learn what we've been playing this week. Guys, what have you been playing? Who wants to go first? Um, I, I started playing Marvel Alliance. Um, oh, it's no. fun. Yay, you're going to lose um, your life to, to that. I um, have a video no. for you, Charge. I, I Aven- picked up uh, NHL things. 13. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm awesome against the computer. I'm so so against other people online. <laughs> um, and I, I'm leading the league in scoring, wins, and penalties because obviously I don't know when not to hit someone up against the wall. Um, <laughs> between, between roughing, interference, and boarding, um, someone is always in the penalty box. Is offsides off? No, offsides is on. Okay. <laughs> and still. And still. <laughs> So, right. um, yeah, I'm not bad. Like, I just scored again against the Red Wings. Um, Are you playing six, right now? Yeah. It's 6-1 nice. in the third. <laughs> um, Chachi literally takes a Let's Play to New Heights. Well, he is playing it's, during Let's Play. Let's Play. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's why why not play? play? Um, and I played uh, Candy Crush as well. Oh, Another, another life-sucking game. <laughs> Not really. I, I, I play it until it pisses me off, and then I shut it off for like three days at a time. <laughs> Jeez. So. Wow. Uh, so, like, I'll, I'll play it, I'll beat a level, then I'll reach a level I can't beat, I'll get pissed off, and then I'll stop playing it for a couple of days. Cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, Riz, what did you play this week? Uh, let's see. I unlocked, uh, I want to say his name is Gregory in... The Battle Block Theater. Gregory? Gregory. Gregory is a giant hand with one eyeball. Huh. Then, yeah. That's like giving a pet a, a person name. <laughs> it's, it's, it's awesome. Because you can, like, high-five people. And also, um, a little bit more of Injustice. Uh, more State of Decay. And a uh, new, new thing I was going to talk about uh, later is I found a, seek, a nice little way to go past the format of buying a Nintendo game to play a Nintendo game. Okay, okay get we'll that get that later. later. All right. Hmm. Okay, Sword, what'd you play? Um, I got more into the, uh, Assassin's Creed 3, got to the Swerve. Wow! Swerve! Yeah. Wow! Yeah. wow. Uh, That's the first story, too. Yeah, yeah. I got to play a little bit of Black Ops 2, a little bit of Dex- Double XP Weekend. Um, got into the like the party mode games, like the one bullet ones <coughs> and the and the the one where you like every kill they upgrade your weapon and everything like that. We gotta get on, game. we gotta get on some of that, guys. We gotta get the <laughs> get the band back together for that. Wait, wait. You played Call of Duty and didn't. Say anything. Didn't invite us before it us. It was like Sunday <laughs> night. I figured everybody else was busy or they were on. I, it was like a weird, like, and I didn't know. I was just kind of hopping in, in in the middle sure. of like Sunday. So sure. I, I just figured, I figured everybody else was busy, you know. So I just hopped. The in new map nights. comes out today, I believe. The new what? Yeah, the new, the new map the comes new out today. Just released today. Well, we'll be getting into that some of this uh, this weekend. Uh, also, tried was a Happy Wars on there. Uh, mm-hmm. Playing some more Star Wars, <coughs> uh, Angry Birds. Because uh, Lando Bird is on there, uh, <laughs> and uh, I think that's about it. Um, nice. Yeah. 
Lando Bird would be great in Cloud City because it's in clouds. It is clouds. It's the Cloud and City level. Bird. It was the Cloud City levels actually that got released alongside the Bird. Nice. All right, and I played Avengers Alliance, of course. I know I'm going to get yelled at, but I played it some more. Um, Doritos Crash Course, which is horrible. <laughs> oh, I played some of that too. <laughs> and it's not I horrible. It's not horrible. Guys, it's like a guys. generic. Uh, it's, it's like a generic Nickelodeon guts with no it aggro is crack. A very generic Nickelodeon <laughs> guts that freezes every five seconds. Mm. Uh, not for me. It did for me. For some Check reason, it, just kept, it was very touch and go. Don't blame the, the music. Xbox for your uh, inadequate internet. In the music kept town. skipping. That's My weird. internet is fine. That's weird. That's weird. I have a problem where uh, actually I have a problem where I, uh, Xbox Live videos like skip if I play them. Yeah. But everything else is fine, so I don't get that. But we didn't get to the big game that I played this oh, week. Oh, what'd you play? I finally got to play The Last of Us. Nice! Did you cry? What, two weeks after it I, came out? In the first ten minutes, I got a little misty-eyed. I didn't cry, but I was like... <gasps> like, it's it's very intense right at the beginning. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's it's probably, like I, like I told you guys um, earlier, this, earlier it, it's probably... I'm only like two hours in, and it's, it's probably the, the game that I've played that's most like a movie. Mm-hmm. That I've ever played. I mean, it, it's intense. There, it's like it'll keep you on the edge of your seat. And I'm only two hours in, so I, I can't wait to see what's coming up. People said the game will break you, mm-hmm. so we'll see where it goes from here. But awesome. uh, yeah, I'm up to uh, the next town. So yeah, awesome. So we'll we'll see how that goes. But yeah. And um, I played the challenge, and I think, Sorg, you did as well? I did. <laughs> you guys, we were uh, actually uh, did a little bit. And sorry, I'm trying to get Riz back here. We had a little bit of a tech issue. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Little Nemo, uh, I, I pulled it up because I have, like, the emulator on uh, Dreamcast uh, that, that you were able to, like, download and make. And, I like, I don't even know what I put on these discs, right? <laughs> uh, so I'm like, I, maybe I have it, and we started playing it. I just like you know, it was hang out after Raw last night. So I just put I'm like, you guys want to see me playing this? So we just put up the hangout, and you guys watched me play a little bit of Little Nemo, and and, and Bobby, you, you started helping me out with. Yeah, what I, I remembered to what to do. Game, I was like, I couldn't remember throw candy at them. I couldn't remember what to do with the game. So uh, <laughs> yeah, so that was interesting in itself. Uh, so I. I Capcom did such good games, and, and mm-hmm. actually, even after that, like I popped in, played a little bit of Ducktales, played a little bit of Chip and Dale's, you know. Uh, and just Capcom were like the best and most colorful and big sprites and the most fun games from that era. Um, I, I told you I owned Tailspin, which was such a weird game because uh, <laughs> it was like a side-scrolling flyer thing. Even though, like, I don't know why Baloo was hanging out of the plane was supposed to be the big plane from the show. Uh, but anyways. Uh, no, no, but yeah, always good stuff there, and I, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, I definitely get chance. It's one of those kind of lesser known ones, isn't it? Yeah, um, I think I think it still holds up. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I, it's comparable to a lot of the indie games that are out today, mm-hmm. like a Braid or like you know, like you mentioned Braid last night. Um, I think it's kind of like that. It's it, it it's it's a it's difficult for mm-hmm. a Nintendo game, like. It was a hard game back in the day. Well, and I also think when you talk about games like Braid, uh, you talk about all these platformers that that are indie games. Uh, uh, the, the big guys don't want to take chances on something that's a platformer. They feel like they've mm-hmm. gone beyond it. They want to make these multimedia crazy things like Black Ops 2, right? Or Assassin's Creed that take millions of dollars. They're not yeah. going to make those little games. And that's where you need these indies and these smaller guys that... that that did grow up on something like Little Nemo and enjoy that. And I think that's where, I mean, you play Braid and you see the callbacks back to Super Mario Brothers even. Um, I mean, these are people that love that and grew up on it and they want they want to be able to make something like that with new ideas and this new technology applied. Um, you know, even, you know, love them or hate them, you know, what happened with Fez, you know. I mean, mm-hmm. technologically, it is, but it isn't really advanced. You know, conceptually, it's crazy. Um, but... I, I think that's that, that's really cool that there's that idea, and it's very accessible to these really passionate guys too because of their technology. So, yeah, cool. And uh, the object of the game was to throw candy at, at uh, woodland creatures until they got diabetes, blew a bubble, and then you could wear them as a suit. <laughs> Which is such a weird concept. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just assuming they had diabetes because that's what look what 
what, 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 you put them in a diabetic Hanna uh, coma <laughs> so that you can climb inside them. Yeah. <laughs> so messed up. Way to go, Capcom. All right. Uh, well, that I brings know, us they, to things I, I wanna, should be made. Oh, I want to make that? notice it's not Capcom's fault. It's um, apparently it's based on a comic. A comic book, yeah. I believe. Uh, and I think it was a cartoon back in the day, too. It, it might have been. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. It might have um, been a Japanese anime. Like oh, an older almost, Japanese anime. Almost certainly. <laughs> uh, I, too, played the challenge, and yes, it, it holds up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Capcom games typically do, though. Awesome. Rizzy, are you there? I uh, know he's not yet. Oh, he's not that. So okay. uh, skip over him. I'll try and bring him back. I, I'm, I'm like two shakes from getting him back on. <laughs> it's hard to talk and, um, and hang out at the same time. All right. Uh, th- now it's time for things you should be-, be made aware of besides diabetes. Things that are not um. diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, since Riz isn't here, we'll, we'll go to the Xbox Live sale that's going on today. Okay. Um, there's a big sale this week on Xbox Live, guys. <laughs> oh, it, tell me more. It started today. Okay. Um, the today's games that are on sale for one day only are Assassin's Creed Three for fifteen dollars. Well worth it. Border, er, Borderlands 2 for 10 bucks, which was my game of the year last year. Nice. That is well, well worth it. Uh, Max Payne 3 for 10 uh, I think Riz Ooh. played that one a lot. And Far Cry 3 for 20 bucks, which I don't have, which I'm thinking about picking up Far, Far Cry 3 because I hear a lot of good things about it. I think you got my attention with that uh, Max Payne 3 because I haven't touched it since since we had that opportunity to see it at Comic-Con. So. <laughs> it is... Um, oh, oh, he's back. Hey, he's back. I'm back. <laughs> I defeated the zombie horde that was raiding my part, I my uh, place. So, uh, and I heard you guys talking about Max Payne three in the process. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go get that game right now. Ten bucks, and that is <laughs> it's, it's I ten say, bucks. I say go get Borderlands two. Uh, I'm gonna go ten, with this as uh, Max Payne three. I'm sorry. I'm sorry Max there, Payne Bobby. three, <clears throat> and if you haven't started on uh, Mass Effect yet, I suggest you do that from the beginning. Yeah, Which is um, actually, I was going to get to that. All the other games that are on sale all week long, um, there's Brothers in Arms, Hell's Highway, mm-hmm. Far Cry Instincts Predator, Crisis is $5. All, th- all three of those games are $5. Command & Conquer Red Alert 3 for $5. WWE 13 is fourteen ninety nine. dollars mm-hmm. uh, Mass mm-hmm. Effect 1 is $5. Prey is two ninety nine. Bulletstorm is four ninety nine. Uh, Perfect Dark Zero is two ninety nine. Dragon Age Origins, which is also excellent uh, and worth picking up, is five dollars. Yeah, and Divinity good. Two: The Dragon Knight Saga is also five dollars. Um, and there are more games going on sale this week. Um, one of those games is Bioshock Infinite. I'm thinking it's going to be twenty bucks, like uh, Far Cry Three. So I would bet on it. How do you guys? I mean, this this kind of feels to me like what we expect out of Steam, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, because these are all digital downloads, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to have to clear mm-hmm. space off of my hard drive to make sure I can download those. Um, I, I, like, we're getting to that point, and I think, and this is where I go back to, I think this is the promise of, like, the Xbox One and, and the things they were trying to do, is this idea that we can, you know, have everything kind of standardized, and we can do these kind of fluctuating prices and, and have fun things. Like, I'm going to go grab Max Payne 3. I'm probably going to mm-hmm. buy it here before the mm-hmm. end of the show. Uh, you know, that, that kind of idea. I, 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 would, I mean, I think that's very promising. Us as gamers, like, wow, I can go check out that game, you know, without going to, you know, GameStop and trying to see if there's a copy there for 10 bucks, right? Yeah. Aren't you? Well, I, I think the whole thing is it goes along with uh, them giving away uh, a, a free game every month to gold members. Yeah. Two a month. It's yeah, two a month. Two a month to uh, gold members. So, uh I, I think it goes along those lines. Mm-hmm. Um, however, uh, there was a huge uproar on the internet, as there you <laughs> typically is when one of the major companies do something dumb, mm-hmm. uh, according to them. Um, but they were extremely pissed off at the uh, the free games with gold for uh, this yeah the, month. F- the first Defen- it's the second defense one. grid I yeah I'm. Um, and they were they were upset that it was defense grid and not a major title. Mm-hmm. Oh come on! Uh, they're not they're not going to get it's a like, big title to say hey. No no you get the, the, the people don't know how business works. You you put yeah. out the big title to get everybody to sign up, and then yeah. you get like hey try this out. You know and I think that's what, s- go ahead. 
I think they'll sneak one in every once in a while, yeah, but yeah. not. Like, you're not going to have a big AAA title no, every time. No, they run out of stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I like the idea to be able to try stuff out, you know? And who's to say Defense Grid isn't that bad? Mm-hmm. You have they, They're giving you a free game. Play it. See if you like it. If you don't like it, delete it. Yeah, yeah it, was it free. didn't cost you anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, hey, you're getting something that you didn't get a few months ago. Yay! Go, you know, yippee! Go do something. Yeah, exactly. So plus, plus, I can see on here that some of the add-ons are Gladys and another map pack and nice. more add-ons. Yeah, so this is one of those games so, where they're going to sell a bunch of like in-game content, right? Right. No, oh, there you yeah. go. Uh, there you go. There's your, there's your money maker. You know, you just you just saw the Xbox like take on an iPhone model of games. At this point, <laughs> which is kind of interesting and maybe a little scary. Yeah, there, there are a lot. Uh, going back to the sale, there are a lot of huge games um, mm-hmm. coming up uh, this week. Um, let me see. Lego, uh, Lego Batman Two, Lego Lord of the Rings, uh, Metal Gear Rising, uh, Tomb Raider. Which uh, Sorg, I think you just picked that up. Yeah, I just picked that up on Steam, and I'm trying to mm-hmm. figure out uh, if I'm worth. It's worth the ninety dollars to grab a new copy of Windows to play it on my Mac. Yeah, there's, oh, uh, there's speaking of, of Lego games. Batman 2. Um, <laughs> you are the master short, of it? What's yeah, you that? just picked that one up. <laughs> what's that? You just picked that one up and just demolished it. <laughs> no, no, I've had it for a while. But oh, okay. the thing with the Lego games is um, it's all extra stuff that you need to complete to get 100%. Yeah. So mm-hmm. when it came out, I beat the story mode, then I, I went and played something else. But I went back to it. Because I'm kind of in this weird spot where I have all these games that I haven't completed to my satisfaction. Um, and I, I just did it with Call of Duty. So I'm like, well, I've had this game longer. I should probably do it with that, too. Um, but uh, last week um, at midnight, I uh, finished uh, Lego Batman 2 to the end. It's 100% done. I tweeted the pick out. Um, so I, I mastered that game as well. Nice. Awesome. Commander All right, Trachi. <laughs> All right. Um, another thing we, you should be made aware of, we're just going to touch on it real quick. Um, remember last year when we did the uh, Child's Play 24 um, hour game a thon? Oh. Mm hmm. Yep. We're what, doing what, it again wait, this wait, year. Sword, sword, sword. Why are you saying ugh? <laughs> no, I'm, well, well, there's the they're trying to kill you part. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's so. true. I did, I did send out a text to Sorg saying that. Of the group organizers of Extra Life are trying to murder us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, mm-hmm. this year it takes place on November 2nd, and if you're not familiar with the uh, Roman calendar, November 2nd is Daylight Savings Day. <laughs> so yeah. this year, uh, it's going to be 25 hours <sighs> instead of your normal 24 hours. But you know what? We can do it. It's for a good cause. So I was going to say, uh, uh, for Chachi Plays, I'm up a hell of a lot longer than Oh, yeah. Hours. I was oh. up eating chicken at the uh, fifth hour. It <laughs> was my victory I, meal. I was up till what? I was up after, like before the before it started around seven a.m. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You were up work. longer than the rest of us. We'll, we'll talk about this. I, I want to see you so, guys yeah. do a hangout the entire twenty four hours or something. We did. I, we, did you? Yes. It was. It's it was on, like a on air. Yeah, you can watch on it on air. YouTube. Oh man, you can watch it at insert coin to begin oh, the entire amazing. twenty four hours. That's amazing. So, four right. or five different increments or six, I'm not sure. Yep. Yeah, we had to do I like six hangouts, but it was that. fun. It was fun. I'm glad we're doing it again this year. Cool. So, all right. Uh, now it brings to our, us our, to our new segment. Uh, Riz, I think you have the first story. Yes, I do. And uh, like I was saying before, take your favorite Nintendo game or not even Nintendo game. Take any video game that you have. And make it free. Then make it a Flash game. That's what Super Smash Flash did. Not only can you play as Mario, Princess, Link, Zelda, uh, Kirby, Star Fox, all those guys that you know and love in the realm of Super Smash Brothers, but there are Goku and Naruto from the anime versions. And they are all Flash and like I said, they are all for free. So if you're interested in getting a game like that, I posted a link on insertcointobegin.com, 
and you can just cl click where it says here, and it'll go to the uh, the actual game. And that's Super Smash Flash is the game? Super Smash Flash 2.09. They said that was going to be their third. Yeah, they said 2.09 is their third installment. 8 bit glory. Basically. Look at that. That's awesome. Yes. Wow. And it's kind of weird seeing like Mar it's kind of weird seeing all that stuff on there and then I realized that I've played a flash game mix up before mm -hmm. in super in uh, I believe it's called Super Mario Brothers Me Melee? No. Mm -hmm. The one where you can play as Contra or uh Oh yeah. So, yeah. So it's it's better than that, I think. Can and it's a lot Go ahead. Hmm? Go ahead, finish up. And I think everybody should, you know, try to play that. But again, Sorg, I still haven't played Braid yet, so you take it with a grain of salt. Man. Hey, I, I'm sorry, I, I forgot to mention the one Let's Play, uh, or what we played. Uh, Contras, Contra Revolutions, I think it is. Uh, oh. New Contra game on iOS. Uh, go check it out if you love the first game. Um, it's, it's like at 99 cents. Go grab it. I don't have some of them. So, awesome. So what's next, Bobby? All right, um... The next story we have is, do you guys remember Titanfall from uh, E3? Yeah! Mm -hmm. It won all the awards. <laughs> it, it, it won all awards. It won Best of Show at E3, Best Original Game, Best Console Game, Best Handheld... Oh no, it didn't win that. that uh, best Console Game and Best PC Game. It won six awards in all. Wow. And it couldn't win seven because it was a, it wasn't a handheld. It wasn't really? a handheld. We didn't game. make a Vita version so. of this thing. I mean, could you imagine that? <laughs> you know, with the motions. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, I, I mean, the game looks good, so I'm excited for it. I, I'm sure you guys are too. It's by uh, Infinity, the former Infinity Ward people that jump ship mm -hmm. over to EA. So I think it'll be good. It's awesome. So, all right, and our next story, uh, the head of, speaking of E3, uh, Don Matrick left Xbox. Oh. oh, man. Oh, no. The the oh, guy that no. does the E3 press conferences oh. every year what are they gonna has do? left Xbox. What are they going to do without him? Telling but us, guess, to, telling but us guess, to go buy 360s. <laughs> but guess where he went? Hmm. He ended up at Zynga. Oh, douchebag land. Yeah. Yeah, he went from Xbox to Zynga. He went home. Let's go to farmland, everybody. So, um, yeah, he, Wait, he, 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 I think he got in trouble with all the, uh, the backtracking of, uh, Microsoft at E3 this year, and I, th I think it was just too much for him, and I think he decided, uh, well, I can't really do much here, so I think I'm it's a little, on. I think it is a little more than that. Uh, yeah. the same thing happened with Windows 8. Uh, the guy had enough windows left, like, right before the launch. I think oh, this wow. is a Microsoft problem more than the personal problem. Uh, yeah, there, it, there has to be someone saying, go. go. For go, go. go spread your wings and fly yeah. away from or the, Xbox, You please. know, we wouldn't be sad if you were to leave now. You know, if, um, if Zynga's hiring, go, go talk you know, to them. Zynga, Zynga, <laughs> so go, go over there. Room there. So, yeah. But yeah, that's. Yeah. I'm gonna miss him at E3 because he was actually a really good uh, press conference host. Okay. I think they should get Major Nelson to host it though. I think he's good. Is he's, it, he's, he's pretty much the face of Xbox. He anyways. is. He and he's done uh, uh, so much to become like the goodwill person for them. Mm -hmm. You know, he's the guy that sits down and breaks it down to you. You know. Uh, so. No, I got it. I got it. Kidnap Reggie. <laughs> Kidnap Reggie. They're not, Nintendo's not him. using him at E3 anymore. Wouldn't that be no, amazing? He's not going to use uh, it. I mean, does he be anything. I mean that's right up the road. He doesn't have to move anywhere. I mean... Yeah, uh, it's like it's like him going... Uh, him holding up a sign that says, we'll work for food. Just bring him in. Feed him like a uh, ham sandwich or something. Ham Go sandwich something. for the Reggie, yeah. Riz. Yes. Do you think it's humanly possible to kidnap Reggie, though? Look at him. I mean, he's giant. He is. He is a. He's, he is a hulk of a man. He's pretty That's much Hodor I, from uh, Game of Thrones that <laughs> can actually speak English. Reggie. That's, That's Reggie. why you use tranquilizer darts. Reggie. He answers and every a question. Lot of them. What's his own name? <laughs> he just says Reggie. 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 Right. Well, that brings us to our boss question this week. Okay. Um. Last how, how week that, we went how, with. Wait. 
How did that bring us to our boss question? I don't know. <laughs> Just to move on. Segway. <laughs> Poor segue. Go with it. Um, well, last week we talked about what universe you'd want to live in if it were a post-apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic universe. This week we're going to ask, what universe would you want to live in, period, that's a video game? Wow. Simple. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Go ahead. I said uh, the Mass Effect universe. I'm a big Mass Effect geek, and if I would have lived on... One. What? That's a good one. Futuristic. Uh, c- yeah, Citadel or, you know, Omega until, you know, they died. All died in a Reaper attack. Spoiler. Or even Earth before they got attacked by the Reapers. Or you do live on Earth. Or any other place that didn't get attacked by Reapers. But living on that universe would be cool seeing all the little, all the aliens and Asari, Krogan, uh, Silarian, Batarian, even though they hate Earthlings. Uh, let's see who else is in there. But yeah, just having that Mass Effect realm in the, the Mass, I would, want, I would die to live there. Cool. And I probably will when the Reapers come and, and you know, ravage my body for, you know, fuel. Okay, Sorg. Um, Mega Man. Nice. Really? X. You want to live in the year 20XX? Yes. <laughs> Mega Man X. <laughs> they got robots. I don't know. Wait, wait. It's kind of hard to, to judge the universe based on a game like that, isn't it? Yeah. I mean... A little bit. Uh, it's futuristic, yet they still have cars on wheels, right? Um, so, I don't know. Josh? Uh, <clears throat> well, here's the thing. I like this universe. I, I, I'm pretty good at this universe. Um, You've had a lot of practice at this at this universe. Right, right. You've unlocked um, a lot of the achievements in this universe. <laughs> my my only prestige. thing is, uh, if you could... Take elements from video games that happen on Earth and add them to the current universe. Mm-hmm. Um, that would be perfect. Uh, for example, uh, jumping on turtle heads. Uh, portal. Ooh. Oh, yeah. um, uh, the uh, assassins uh, Templar aspects from the Assassin's Creed games. Um, I would want to run around pushing people. Right. So, I mean, uh, take aspects like that from video games that happen in uh, on a, a, a normal everyday Earth and make them happen, and I think I'm set. Cool. Especially like, uh, like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> and it, it, I, I watched The Purge recently, and it made me think of that, that universe a lot, so... Um, it, it, it just aspects from Earth uh, universes in this present, current, real world. Mm-hmm. Awesome, Bobby. Cool. Um, I would have to go with uh, either Dragon Age Two or well, the whole Dragon Age universe. Um, I, I love that universe. Um, Bioware has a lot of stuff like that. And I know you guys would probably get mad at me for this, but Final Fantasy X. Uh, Damn it, Bobby! Really, really colorful, awesome, like just areas and locales, beaches, stuff like that. It's a really, it's a really like beautiful game. So that's where I I would. I thought you needed help because of Marvel Avengers. No, (laughs) you need. I want to live in Marvel Avengers Alliance. You need. You need help. For your Final Fantasy X addiction. I love so Final flat. Fantasy X. Because yes. that is a bad addiction. Leave me bad, alone. Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And on that note, um, I think that's going to do uh, it for us this week. They kick, kicked TKO. Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't go to the chat room. Said her, the universe she would like to be in, Paperboy. Ah, very good. I thought Chachi was going to say NHL 14 or 13. <laughs> No, um, just because that's the real universe. Um, so. there's this. Uh, it's a uh, uh, Virgil Gaming, Virgin Gaming, mm-hmm. and what it does is they they have uh, they have tournaments and whatnot 
for uh, certain games like NHL 13, uh, Madden, um, MLB, and Far Cry is now on there. Um, but they're like real money tournaments that you can play in. Hmm. And I, I was trying that out, but hey, so far it's either too busy or it's just terrible because uh, it crashed four times trying to load it. So and when you and when you win, Charles Branson sends you into space. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With that terrible joke. Um, Our challenge for this week is Braid. Make sure you check that out. Um, It's free on Xbox Live. Well, it's a a trial. er, The free trial was on Xbox Live, sorry. It's it's $10 on most platforms if you want to check it out, Mm -hmm. though. Yeah, it's a good game. Mm -hmm. Um, And you can uh, follow us on Twitter at InsertCoinTV. You can also go to the website. Uh, insert coin to begin.com for more stories uh, updated and that'll do it for us this week game over Bye.